There are many prophecies in the Word of God that define who the man of sin is, as well as his plans as a multi-bodied antichrist. And I say multi-bodied because every pope since the start of the prophesied church and state kingdom that the prophet Daniel called diverse in Daniel 7.23, it all started in 538 AD. Each and every pope has embraced and actually fulfilled the prophecies regarding the actions of Antichrist all throughout history. And for those of you who haven't seen my videos on this, see my Characteristics of Antichrist page for 26 of the most easy to see prophecies matched to historic records in detail, as well as some videos for those of you that don't like reading. And so I see no need to define this long prophesied beast in Rome as I have done and overdone that many times over the years. In fact, the current events in modern society that have a prophetic ring to them have made it quite easy for me to keep my blog up to date for years, as well as numerous pages on the site that cover everything from the antics of the Jesuit Pope to his long expected promotion of homosexuality as being the norm. And he does this so as to make it that much easier to publicly soften the perverted fruits of the prelates in Rome who have recently been outed as 98% homosexual. And yes, that's why they have Vatican-owned and operated homosexual brothels right down the road from the Vatican. And so many of those prophesied fruits of the seven-hilled city of Rome have been somewhat hidden from the general public due to their ability to spin Dr. All of it under the rug as well as rewrite Bibles so as to prevent people that read Bibles from finding out just how disgusting these men are that dress all in black just as the Satanist does, which was also prophesied, as well as all in scarlet for special occasions, as per other prophetic facts regarding the House of Antichrist. But thanks to the fact we are in the very last days, and not too many years from the enforcement of the Mark of the Beast, many people are finally starting to wake up to how demonic this system is in Rome. For example, prophecy said long ago that this beast in Rome would need to set up a one-world church, a one-world government, and a one-world court system. And that one-world court system gives that beast the necessary teeth it needs to be able to chomp down on any dissension against it. And so these three prophecies are now easily seen by even the scoffer today. And especially nowadays, after nearly two months of a now falsified pandemic lockdown in most cities all around the world. And so to make it easier to see what even a student of prophecy sees, Daniel, he said this beast in Rome that has no desire for women would need to gather all the nations of the world under her scarlet colored robe so as to have the power it needs to enforce the mark in every nation on earth. We all just witnessed how every nation, with the exception of a few that are about to either go to war or have their leaders assassinated like we just saw in Iran, all nations agreed to promote a pandemic without even a fraction of what it means to use the term pandemic as well as a virus that, yes, it does kill some people, but nowhere near the numbers of a common flu. As I stated in a previous blog, as well as on an online YouTube stream, the One World Government, its Roman International Criminal Court System, is and has been open for business since the Club of Rome was formed in 1968, mostly on paper, of course, but it was formed. But now that all the weak leaders have either caved or been replaced over the years with assassinations or wars or even just plain, you know, forced compliance, not to mention all the constitutions have been changed in all these nations and all the churches have bowed and even agreed to send tithing to the Pope. The Pope is the prophesied and now fulfilled elected leader of all these churches. It is now obvious everything is set in place for their next step. And so what is their next step? Well, Satan knows the next major prophesied event to happen is the outpouring of the latter rain, which then brings power onto the loud cry that exposes the truth about the man of sin and his mark in ways no one alive on this planet can disagree with. The message that is soon to go forth when the Pope uses all the lockdown abilities, all the constitutional changes, all the tracking methods, he will use all those tools so as to enforce climate change with religious laws that he claims will stop the disasters brought on by climate change. He will do all that we saw during the faked pandemic so as to try and slow the last message of warning regarding the mark of the beast. This message will be understood as clear as day by every single solitary person alive because the guy that created him knows exactly what words to use to get their attention. 
And so it's going to be understood as clear as day by every denomination, you know, be they Sunday keeping or Sabbath keeping Christians, as well as Muslims, Buddhists, and even Satanists and atheists are all going to understand this with perfect clarity that this message that we give is true because it was prophesied to be that crystal clear once it goes out. And that is why Rome has been working with Google and all the governments around the world to remove dissension as well as free speech from anybody that speaks out against this planned demic because the same methods can be used when they push forth climate change with religious laws. They know they cannot hide what's already happening and especially what's soon to happen when the loud cry gets very loud. The next best thing for them is to try and stop people from finding out. They can't shut us up, but they can plug other people's ears. And this is why social distancing and lockdown orders are being tested right now, so that when the obedient remnant people finally go forth, the enemy of souls hopes we are going to have a difficult time spreading the message to bring people out of the apostate religions and into the safety of Christ's arms. Satan needs to keep his victims in his charred trophy case. But the God of the Bible who declared thousands of years ago that all that has led up to what's happening was to happen exactly as we all just witnessed. That's why I call this our 66 AD in a previous blog entry. Everything that happened in 66 AD made it that much easier for Titus when he surrounded the city of Jerusalem in 70 AD to kill everybody so easily because all the tools were there. The great God of the Bible is not one to be caught off guard. The message will go out no matter how many laws are passed to try and stop it. Remember Acts 5.29? The powers that be tried to stop the gospel from going out 2,000 years ago. Well, how well did that work out? I mean, they were unable to do that no matter how hard they tried. I mean, there's Christians today thanks to that message going out. And so the people who have a heart for the truth and the God that wrote it will hear this truth. They'll understand it clearly and they'll come out of the fallen churches. Then, Satan will appear claiming to be Jesus Christ. The mark of the beast will be enforced. The plagues will fall. And the eastern sky will split wide open to expose the fake Jesus via the real Jesus Christ, who will then put an end to all of it. Thank you for watching. God bless.